Hey lifers, welcome to my channel Life with Stefka. In today's video, we will be doing a how-to of the 7 must-haves to travel to the beautiful island of the Bahamas. As you take in the sights of our sun, sand and seas, I'll give you a quick history about the Bahamas. Our island consists of 700 islands and 2,400 keys and it is beautiful every inch and every mile enjoy this video and i hope it's helpful to you hey lifers welcome back to life with Stafta. on today's video we'll be talking about the seven top must-haves to travel to the beautiful island of the Bahamas. If you want to continue watching this video, make sure hit that like button. Make sure like, comment, and subscribe. Video. Let's get right into the video. Top number one necessity that you would need to travel to the Bahamas is a passport. Whatever country you're coming from, you would need a passport, a valid passport. First thing you must do when you get your passport is obviously all the, whenever you're coming to the Bahamas, you should make sure that it is not expired. And if, if it is in the same year, it should be at least six months to the date that you're actually traveling, traveling to the Bahamas. Got your passport? Wait, 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 Almost now. ready is a negative PCR test. Say with me, negative PCR or antigen test based on um, whenever it is that you come. The number three top, the third top thing that you would need for travels to the Bahamas is you would have, have to have somewhere to stay. Obviously, if you are local, you can just come to a family member or Go to your own residence but if you are not and, a, and you are a foreigner you must make sure that you have somewhere booked to stay whether it is an airbnb or a hotel we have inclusive hotels like breezes and then we also have other um hotels with what are that are not inclusive like atlantis rio um, um the point that's a nice restaurant, the Bahama. Could I forget that? Um, so many. Just make sure to check online. So many to pick, choose, and refuse. From high end to very low cost accommodations. Because if you're coming to this beautiful island, where would you stay? Hello. The fourth thing you would need is transportation. Normally, when you come to the Bahamas and you arrive and come outside from the airport, you have taxi drivers take you to your destination um, but throughout your stay wherever you're going you would have to either book a taxi driver or you can just ask your hotel or wherever you're staying Airbnb rental to set you up with reliable transportation because you know we don't have Uber or Lyft here in the Bahamas so you'd have to have some type some type form of transportation yes and it's not cost effective at all um, but based on where you're going, they will tell you, um, when you before you get in the taxi how much the, the the ride would be based on the amount of persons and your final destination. Yes. Also, don't forget to wear your mask. So out of the seven must-haves that you would need is obviously money. You can use you can either use U.S. currency versus your debit and Visa card. Either one is is um, you are able to use. And I give you an example. When I travel to Canada, I didn't know that you um, U.S. currency isn't readily received. You have to. I know you had to convert it, but I wasn't aware that it's best to use your debit and Visa card traveling to Canada. But if you are coming to the beautiful shores of the Bahamas, um, you can just simply put all your funds on your debit or credit card, or you can bring U.S. currency, because the U.S. currency is uh, the same value of the Bahamian dollar. So either way you win, you won't be um, charged any exchange rate, or your money wouldn't be um, depreciating. Even though it seems like this should be the first, but that's number six on my list, 
is is that you need to do your research before you come to the Bahamas. Make sure go online and research where you want to go, what activities you want to do, whether it's sightseeing. Obviously, you have to go to the beach. You have to go to the beach. That should be on your bucket list to do when you come here. If you want to go AT driving, if you want to go to different forts, different landmarks, ponds, it's so much things that you can do. Parasailing, water sports. Do your research and make sure you are either a reliable guide or someone to navigate where you're going. And, and either you do your own research and you pay, you pay before you come. So you don't have to worry about this fee or that fee. You have everything, you know, sorted out already. That's number six. We're almost at okay, seven. Top thing that you need to do or need to know before you come to the Bahamas is that you have to taste the Bohemian cuisine. You cannot leave the island without tasting some conch salad, conch fritters, stew conch. Breakfast should be sheep tongue or chicken sauce or stew fish with yellow grits and johnny bread. Lunch could be cracked chicken, cracked lobster, um, fish, snapper, anything of that nature. And dinner can be peas and rice with macaroni and coke. Just thinking about, thinking about it makes me hungry. Coleslaw, potato salad, plantain, um, snappers always, boiled fish, so much to choose from. The first thing you need to do is whenever you're getting these local cuisines or bohemian cuisines, it's best for you to go to the fish fry. You have so many restaurants and stores. You can choose from and, and they are all scrumptious and also don't forget to wear your mask. So those are the top seven must-haves when traveling to the Bahamas. A quick recap. One, passport. Two, a negative antigen or PCR test. Three, you need obviously somewhere to stay. If you have a reliable family member or your local, you can just hey, sleep with someone who on the couch. But if you're if this is your first time, get a nice hotel. For reliable transportation. Hi, obviously you must have money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money. And last but not least, you must, you must, you must have some type of human cuisine or kung salad. I'm gonna get kung salad the best ever. Kung salad, veggie salad, tropical salad. Whatever it is you're eating or diet is that you would be able to get some of that good finger licking good food. Yeah. And make sure I come with a group of friends or family members or you could even travel by yourself. Um, we are beautiful people and love, love, love to accommodate each and every one of you. We love tourists. And as you know, tourism is our number one industry. So come on down. I hope that this video was helpful to you in terms of listing your number one top must-haves to traveling to the Bahamas. And don't forget, if you're not coming to Nassau, we have many family islands to go from. Andres, straight to Africa, Cat Island, Bimini, Inagua, San Salvador, Crooked Island, all, all of them are available to you. So do your research, Bimini, and you can cat key, and you'll be able to enjoy yourself. Signing off, Life with Sefka, it's been a pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope this video is helpful to you. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Make sure like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. See you next time, lifers. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path.